Hey YouTube, this is Venom Game coming at you today. Uh, I'm just bringing you guys a tutorial for this new game that came out by BeamNG. It's called BeamNG Drive. It was originally just started off as a graphics engine, but recently became a full playable game that you can get a free trial of and or the full uh, beta version for $15 on their website. But um, it's only for Windows at the moment. So I'm going to show you a tutorial of how you can get it for Mac to run pretty successfully. Um, it's not as compatible, so it's not going to work very well. Um, but I mean, it still it still runs enough to play, so that you can enjoy the game and see what it's for until they make a Mac version, or until you can get it for Windows. So um, the first thing you're going to need is to download Crossover for Mac. So you want to go to www.codeweavers.com slash products once there you want to hit download the free trial just throw in your name and email so so they can email you about updates and stuff and hit download I already have it so I'm not going to you want to then minimize that and open it up It'll take a little while. Oh. Hold on a second. All right, well, for some reason, the main screen isn't opening. All right, so what you want to do once you are in crossover is go up to the top and hit configure oh, I think I cut it out of the clip here but you want to go to the top and hit configure and hit manage bottles okay as you see I already have them here but that's alright so you want to go to the plus sign down at the bottom and name the bottle whatever you like you can just name it test make sure that the bottle type is a Windows Vista bottle and hit create what this is going to do is it's kind of like you're just making a whole new application for Mac. So you have to install everything to run the game into these bottles. All right, so you have your test bottle here. The, ne uh, the next thing you need is DirectX Runtime from Microsoft. So unless you have it, you might have to download it. I'll put the link in the description. But most people should have it. Alright, so now you have your bottle. You want to go up to the top again and go to manage bottles or install software. I'm sorry. So click install software. And you should see this screen. Now it's going to load up. These are all uh, pre installed games and applications that this program already supports. But BMNG Drive is not in here. So you will have to scroll down to the bottom and click on other application choose installer file and then just search through your computer to find the uh, the BeamNG installer you see I have it right here you're going to want to click BeamNG drive setup this one right here it should look just like this and hit use this installer I already have it so I'm not going to hit it alright that'll install up and then you will end up with another bottle um, make sure that when before you hit uh, proceed you pick the bottle to install it into so you want to install it into the test bottle because that's the new program that you made and then these are install notes that'll just show you, you know how far it is alright so once you selected the right installer and the right application and the right bottle you want to hit proceed so it'll go through that, it'll do its thing, uh, it might take a little while for some more people depending on your computer, and then that'll be all installed. Alright, so I'm going to cancel this. Alright, now the last step, you want to go up to configure again and hit install software once more. Now this time you will have to uh, install your DirectX runtime so that the game knows what to use to run off of it. You want to go to service packs and upgrades. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Runtime support components. Alright, don't, don't double click to open it. I don't know why I was doing that. Just hit the little down arrow right here and it'll expand the options. Now, you don't want DirectX 9. That's not the one you want to use. Scroll down a little bit further and you will come across another one. Oh, here it is, right here. It's blended in with the Microsoft one. It's not too far from the top. You want to use this one right here, Microsoft DirectX Runtime Modern. Then you want to go down once more and select the bottle you want to install it into, which would be your game uh, bottle that you're going to run it off of. And you're going to hit install once again. I already have it, so I'm just going to hit cancel. All right, that'll all install up, and you should be all ready. Um, when that's all done, you should be able to go up to the top up here where it says program and beam ng drive or whatever you named it should be up here um, the updater and the uninstall file should both be here but you want the one in the middle that says drive because that's just how you run the game so you want to then run it and you want to mute your sound here because oops and my trial is expired because I had to switch my date for Camtasia um, I will cut and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I had to, my Camtasia trial ran out, so I had to change my date back before it to run it. Alright, so here we are. Um, you have this already. You want to go up to Programs and hit BMNG Drive and the Play File. Now, be careful. You want to mute your volume here because it's not made for Mac, so it might make some terrible screeching sounds since the audio file isn't made for Macs. And you should probably see it right here when it loads up. See, I already have the, the settings saved, so the sound is just all right. But if you're having the terrible sounds that it's making, you want to go to Options, Audio, and it should be on Direct Sound. Make sure it says Open AL. That's what you want to use. Open AL and hit Done. And you can hit Save over here, too. Now, for some reason, um, the brightness for mine is really low. I think it has something to do with that Mac isn't supposed to support this application. But I just wanted to test it and play it out a little bit just to see how I liked it. Um, it's not too bad. I just turned my brightness up a little bit. You can turn it up and down so that it's a little bit better to see. Um, you can go uh, hit play now. And it comes with five different maps. There's a cliff, so you can just throw your cars down the cliff, see how they crash. A uh, little demo derby course, a nice rocky island to the test off-roading, just a pure blank grid, and then this is my favorite that I like to play on. It's a grid, but it has some jumps, some obstacles on it, so you can hit go and you can play that. And here we are. Runs nice, runs smooth, looks pretty good. Uh, because I'm recording, it's a little bit slower, but it should run pretty good for you depending on your computer. I have a, the newest MacBook Pro. It has 8 gigs of RAM, so it runs pretty smooth. It's a little laggy right now, though, because I'm recording. So, um, yeah. Uh, any questions, you can post in the description, or not in the description, in the comments. Uh, I will leave the links to all the necessary downloads in the description, though. Um, if you'd like a tutorial on how to use the controls to spawn different cars and things since they're different for Mac, uh, just let me know in the comments. Uh, give us a few likes and uh, let us know for the next video. Thanks.